Today I'll be demonstrating a dumbbell peck fly or a dumbbell fly. Uh, the dumbbell fly or peck fly, as the name sort of suggests, is an exercise where we're really creating a lot of muscle tension and load uh, through our pectoral muscles or the muscles in our chest. And we're doing this by trying to put them um, under load while lengthened. This is a great way to help with muscle hypertrophy as well as strength in the end range of your shoulder. Um, and it's really mindful, I've said this before, that when you do these kind of exercises, it's not about getting as heavy as possible, but rather keeping the weight mild to moderate and focus really on slow tempo and good control. Uh, you'll get a lot more out of the exercise if you do it this way, rather than trying to go as heavy as you possible but sacrificing tempo and tension in the process. So, in terms of the setup, we've got the bench here and we've got my dumbbells starting on my quads. Then from there, we're going to rock back flat on the bench. Make sure our hips and shoulders are even, feet flat. Then from there, slight bend in the elbows, start with the dumbbells together. And then from there, we're gonna keep this elbow angle while letting the dumbbells fall out to the side. Nice, slow and control, and you can see I'm maintaining that elbow angle. Now in terms of the range, you can go really far down because it's a bench, but if you are not quite ready to go into those deeper end ranges, you can start by just lowering yourself down so that you're basically in line with the bench and then come back up. If you have tighter pecs, you can even just go until you start feeling a stretch and tension on the pecs and then come back up as well. Again, like I said at the start, nice slow tempo, good control. Don't need to rush it on the way down and then squeeze your pecs together on the way up to really engage those pec muscles. When you're done, just lower it down, rock yourself up, back onto your quads.